Today I'll be stealing 10 minutes of your time to tell you a bunch of useless facts about Roblox Jailbreak, all of which you are legally obligated to forget about right after clicking off this video. You ready? 3, 2, 1, go. If you go over to the pool in the Critter City penthouse, you will see that it's actually broken and you could drown while above the water. I'm not really too sure how this made it into the game, but well, it's there. Back in 2022, with the Meteor's event, the drawbridge near the power plant had a glitch where if you sailed the boat up to it and then backed away, the bridge would slowly get more and more broken over time. This was completely permanent in that server, and unfortunately since then this glitch has been fixed. Over here near the main airport in the mountains, there's a Creekcraft horse easter egg that has been in the game since 2018. Over the years, this easter egg has moved three times in total, and for some reason, the horse is now missing a body. I'm not really too sure what happened with the horse's body, but maybe the decal got deleted or something else happened when Badima was updating the game. In the pirate cave on the bottom right corner of the map, there's a zombie in a cage hanging from the roof. Back in 2020 when this was added into the game, people rumored that this was hinting towards a future zombie game mode. Unfortunately though, this has never been added into the game. If you jump into the volcano, you could hear a reference to a scene in Star Wars featuring Darth Vader. This was added into the game back in February of 2020 and hasn't been changed ever since. <laughs> Behind this crate here in the city criminal hideout, you could see the Dougal Fox was here easter egg. This has been in the game ever since release and the only time it changed was once back in the 2020 Nuke live event. Back in 2017, there was an easter egg near the town that featured SimBuilder, the developer of Vehicle Simulator, holding a pair of binoculars. This was removed from the game shortly after release and it was likely a reference to some beef between SimBuilder and Bedemo. My guess that it is something involving the two games possibly stealing stuff from each other, but that hasn't been confirmed either. And now that SimBuilder is in jail and also has been banned from Roblox, we'll probably never actually know what happened. For literally every single live event that Jailbreak has ever had, there were always some beach chairs somewhere nearby. Because you know, it's not a live event if you can't sit back and watch the end of the world. Have you ever wondered how many trees are on the Jailbreak map? No? Well, that's great. After downloading an older copy of the Jailbreak map and searching through the game files, I found there are roughly 485 oak trees, 49 pine trees, and 70 palm trees. That means there's a total of about 604 trees across the entire Jailbreak map. So with those numbers, we could probably assume that the population of the jailbreak map is somewhere in between 150 and 200 people. So if we were to times that by 50 for each state in the entirety of the US, then we'd only end up with like 7,500 people. And even with those numbers, it would just barely be called a small town. So whatever population crisis happened on the jailbreak map, well, I'm just gonna blame it on the aliens. During the time travel event in 2024, the lines that the CEO says actually changed. According to Asimo, he changed them because it would make more sense for the new players, but honestly, I don't think it makes any sense at all because the story of Jailbreak is already kind of a mess. If you go into the oil rig and look up at one of the windows, you could actually see the CEO on one of the computers. Maybe this was our first hint towards the upcoming live event earlier this year, but honestly, I'm not really too sure. Under the Jailbreak map, there's a bunch of stone platforms. These were added back in about April of 2023 and they serve as an ocean floor and also a really cool place to hang out under the map if you noclip through. I'm not really too sure why Bedemo haven't made any attempts at trying to fix getting down here because it is a pretty overpowered glitch if you do know how to use it. But until it does eventually get fixed, if you want to know how to get in, I do have plenty of shorts on the channel of how to do it. If you were ever wondering how many houses are actually on the jailbreak map, well, there's a total of about 30. And since earlier we figured out what the population of the jailbreak map is, we now also know how many homeless people there are. So for example, if every house on the jailbreak map had a family of four in it, that means that about 120 people would have a house. And then the remaining 30 people would either live in an apartment or just be homeless. Or maybe all along Bedemo have been planning this and that's why the server size of each jailbreak server is exactly 30 people. All along is Bedemo's intent, exactly 30 people in a server and exactly 30 people without a house. As of right now, when I'm recording this video, Jailbreak currently has 7 game passes in total. The most expensive game pass is the very important player game pass, also known as VIP for 800 Robux. And if you were to buy every single game pass in the game, you'd have to spend 2,590 Robux exactly. While we're on the topic of game passes though, the Pro Garage actually used to be called the Mobile Garage. And prior to April 2019, it was only used for mobile customization instead of mobile spawning. In total, Roblox Jailbreak had three military bases added into the game. 
The first one we had was back in 2019 with a purple force field. And then that one was replaced in 2021 with a brand new military base without the force field but featuring turrets. And then in 2022, we got the current modern day military base with all of that cool stuff. Jailbreak released over seven years ago and there's 13 robberies in the entire game. There's the bank, the cargo plane, the cargo ship, the cargo train, the casino, the jewelry store, the mansion, the museum, the oil rig, the passenger train, the power plant, the small stores, and the tomb. Believe it or not, prior to July 2021, there was actually another police station on the jailbreak map. This police station, compared to the other ones on the map at that time, didn't really offer too much and didn't even spawn in a helicopter on the roof. And then, like I said, it was removed in July of 2021 to make room for the police HQ, which then also got removed in June of 2023. So yeah, overall, it was just kind of a big waste. The bounty limit in Roblox Jailbreak has been changed a total of three times in Jailbreak's lifetime. When Jailbreak released, there was no bounty limit, which means you could get pretty much as high as a bounty as you want. And then sometime in 2019, they added in the $50,000 bounty limit. And then now in November of 2023, they decreased it to $20,000 to make room for more bounties at a time. And with that update, they pretty much made bounty hunting in small servers the best way to make money in Jailbreak. And that's because with that, like I said, they also increased the amount of bounty you get per robbery, making the bounties a little bit more valuable at the cost of a lower limit. If you own a VIP server in Roblox Jailbreak, you have access to a bunch of admin commands. And using these VIP commands, you could actually go into the console and type in zap hashtag an amount up to 5,000. And once you enter in that command, it will zap that amount of lightning on the map. It's a really cool trick. This feature was added back in October of 2021 and it hasn't been modified ever since. Speaking of VIP server commands though, we do have a few ones that actually got removed from the game entirely. A really famous example of a command that got removed from Jailbreak is the time command. Back in early 2022 when this was added, it was actually able to give you unlimited money for absolutely free. And literally a day after that, everyone that participated in that glitch had their data re-rolled and the command also got disabled. A few months later in that same year, 2022, the gravity command also got disabled. And according to a SEMA, it was because people were taking advantage of it in ways that weren't intended. At the time of recording this video, the robbery and jailbreak with the best payment is the mansion giving out $16,000 upon completion. And then if you consider airdrops robberies, then the worst robbery in the entire game is by collecting one piece of money from the airdrops. Otherwise, that title goes to the small stores. Back during the 1 billion visit celebration in 2018, the rain was actually replaced with confetti. For 2 billion visits, we got Jailbreak's first live event adding in a brand new city. For 3 billion visits, we got some new text in the sky along with some new spoilers. For 4 billion visits, we got a brand new rim. For 5 billion, we got a new spoiler. For 6 billion, we got yet another new spoiler. And then at 7 billion visits, we got a brand new rim yet again and also the Scorpion Limited Vehicle. If you buy a VIP server in Roblox Jailbreak, you'll get access to a little thing in front of the prison prompting you to start a battle royale. The Roblox Jailbreak city has been revamped now about three times, once in 2018, once in 2020, and also once in 2023. All of these city improvements were major except for the one in 2023 when honestly they probably just made it worse. When you go ahead and take a look at the tallest building in Jailbreak now, it looks very out of place and it looks like a very rushed feature in that update. Right before each live event in Roblox Jailbreak history, there have been some hints either on the map or in the latest thumbnail before that live event happened. For example, this year in 2024, as you guys could see here, there was a little hint in the thumbnail picture of the March update right before April hinting towards a live event. These always tend to happen somewhere around March or April, so whenever an update comes out around then, always make sure to check the thumbnail. Currently in Roblox Jailbreak, there are over 108 vehicles in the entire game. And so the fastest vehicle in the game is the Scorpion for $2 million, and the slowest one is the ATV for only $50,000. And if you want some more specific details, the ATV has a top speed of about 56 miles per hour, while the Scorpion has a top speed of 423. 
Over the last seven years that Roblox Jailbreak has been around, the year with the most content updates is 2022. And as for the year with the least amount of content updates, so far that's looking to be 2024 with only three major content updates in the span of already eight months. And even then, those updates have been super small. And that right there is the end of the video. If you guys have any other useless things that you guys want me to put in a future video like this, make sure to put it down below in the comments. And yeah, with that, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one.